Okay, so it's Sunday mo Saturday morning and I'm going to Ramapo 500 event. Uh, people got uh, scared off from this event uh, due to the unpredictable weather and uh, promises of rain and thunderstorm. But uh, I decided to stick my neck out and do the best I can. So, uh, it's a little bit of a, a drizzle now, like a light rain that's supposed to end like maybe in an hour or so. And uh, the rest of the weekend uh, should be very nice. Uh, manual windshield. Low tech. Low tech motorcycle. No buttons to press to raise the windshield. Well, rain ended and then rain started again. <laughs> I uh, removed my uh, inner layer. Because the inner layer is like a rubber <laughs> to protect you from getting wet but prevent you from breathing. It's too warm with that. So, it's raining but uh, I guess because it's warm I'm okay. Hopefully, <laughs> the rain will end at some point. And hopefully it will end in the morning. Well, look like there's no shortage of lunatics that uh, uh, running in the rain. Okay, let's go register. <laughs> How do you feel about it? today's ride in the rain, Richard? It was, it was challenging to get here, but I'm sure it's going to be very nice once we get to we go west. Things will improve, right? Yes. We have a positive attitude, yes. outlook. Yes. You yeah. have to go through hell to get to heaven, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. So we're going on the Rainbow 500. This is the initial run to go out to Bath, New York. Okay, now we, we can only find uh, Glenn, we can start going. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know what happened with Glenn. So we, we lost him. At the beginning of the trip, he left us. He left a little early or something. I don't know what that happened. It was supposed to be three of us, but there's only two of us riding. Maybe we will meet him at the final destination. I don't know why he left earlier. I came up here to join Val for the Ramapo 500 ride. And... Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. You, can't, you can't touch it, it falls over. That was me, sorry. Um, Had a mechanic. This is a new bike to me. This is Joel's old bike. This is the first miles I've put on it since I got it. So I got up there and my Garmin wasn't working. So I had to work on it in the parking lot to, to get that fixed. So I'm late to the registration. Get through registration and I'm sitting there in the parking lot looking for Val. And these two people ride up and wave at me and point. And I didn't recognize the bike, but hell, I figured this was Val. And so I fell in behind and figured out when we stopped for gas that this isn't who I thought it was. But Val shows up at the gas station. So we get together, we take off, we're riding down the road, and I blow out the hydraulic line for the clutch. So now I got no clutch. I'm an hour and a half from the hotel. I'm going to take an Uber, which is a hundred and a quarter plus tip. 
and they'll get to me when they get to me. Back to the hotel to pick up my van, to come pick up my bike, to call it a day and go home. All right, here they go. Uh, we got uh, look like we're passing the uh, town of uh, Vernon, upstate New York somewhere, and uh, we only have uh, five hours and twenty minutes to go, and our arrival should be six twenty, and we have to cover five uh, what two hundred fifty six miles, almost there. I drove through the. Uh, tough section with a little bit of a rain nothing major just enough to get me wet and the rest of the day uh, gonna be a nice ride beautiful Delaware River oh that's what we need to do kayaking man this is next activity online how you doing boss? Five. Right. There you go. Have a good one. Thanks, man. Let's go. Street twenty five. In the one. 91 degrees baking warm hot and we got another 3 hours and 20 minutes to go Okay, so uh, we all dressed up and ready to go, right? Yes. So at this point, you and I are separating. Correct. You go on your adventure, and I go on my adventure. Yes. Try well, it. it was a fun uh, trip. Yeah. And uh, look like a Sunday present uh, us another beautiful opportunity to enjoy the day. Right. It's absolutely uh, humidity is low and the temperatures are great. Yeah. Have a nice ride. Right. Yeah. That's it. I'm on the way home. Take care. Safe travels. All right. Enjoy the rest of your trip. <laughs> Till next time.
let's do this so I have to decide to go on a, a Sunday a portion of the Ramapo 500 or just go home and uh, go swim in uh, Leon's pool if I was smart of course I would go swim in the pool but I'm not that smart so I probably <laughs> gonna go on a on this uh, crazy ride well let's see how long it will take me because uh, uh, rich and i enjoy uh, enjoyed ourselves uh, with uh, nice conversations in the hotel and uh, burn a lot of daylight and now it's like uh, 11 15 in the afternoon so i don't really have uh, too much time when i start riding this in recalculates and tell me my statistics so let's see what it shows me I got uh, 250 miles 6 hours and 10 minutes and I'll be at uh, where the Harriman State Park in a restaurant there where they're giving out uh, I know sticker or something for uh, achieving the goal and I would be, I would, no, I would arrive there at uh, 6 p.m. And that will take me 5 hours and 25 minutes to do. And if I go home straight, it will take me about 4 hours. And I'll be home at 3 o'clock. Ah, decisions, decisions. I'm gonna try that out. I don't want to take Route 80. It's uh, too beautiful of a day to waste on Route 80. I'll try that out. But once I'm on a route and I'm tired, uh, there is no shortcut to get out of it. I'm like in the middle of nowhere with this uh, local uh, roads. <laughs> uh, what do we do to torture ourselves? Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so I'm on uh, uh, Route 6 uh, going uh, east and uh, yesterday we were in Bass, New York and uh, cabins that we checked uh, that we were supposed to look be in a cabin it was like it was a joke over the, it was no option uh, they build the, they put the cabin in the campground they put beds in there no air conditioner plastic covers on these beds and they expect you to bring uh, your own linens and uh, blankets and pillows and uh, air is so hot and stale in that room like it's just disgusting to be there just to walk in to look at beds so we cancelled that idea and we at the end of the day when by nine o'clock when we were done with all the activities awards and lotteries and stuff and dinner we took a ride with uh, my partner to Wellsboro and uh, stayed in a nice comfortable hotel with beautiful functioning air conditioner and nice clean beds and a good shower so I feel nice relaxed and refreshed today so uh, today I'm gonna do the Sunday section of uh, Ramapo 500 but so I wake up in the morning and then it uh, hit me I forgot to create a nice clip for my movie when I pull into a campground in Bass, New York I notice uh, this uh, KLA standing there and I'm like so excited to see KLA that look exactly like my KLA <laughs> same color and all uh, with all kinds of modifications on it so I walk up uh, to this bike and I'm walking around uh, admiring another KLA and uh, guess who walks up to me this uh, Brian publisher of uh, Backroads magazine and we start talking about uh, uh, his magazine and his motorcycle and the modifications he did to it 
and then he called his wife Shira and I'm like wow I'm like I'm a subscriber to the magazine I uh, follow you uh, your travels and this and that and uh, <laughs> I uh, had a great conversation nice time and this morning it hit me I should have made a clip of this and I totally forgot to do that uh, disappointed myself again oh well what are you gonna do but it was uh, interesting to see that <laughs> after riding his BMWs and uh, different motorcycles he wound up with the basic simple KLR year 2000 <laughs> primitive motorcycle exactly the same motorcycle that I have in my garage Man, this is a uh, beautiful Pennsylvania as many times as I ride here, I mean, it's like uh, the view is just amazing. It doesn't get old, these farms and the uh, smell of manure and the cows and the uh, grass and fields and the corn fields. It's just priceless here. Uh, Pennsylvania is such a beautiful state. I love to ride my motorcycle here. Yeah, I don't know how much uh, of this uh, beauty capture by a camera lens What I see with my eyes is a little different what the uh, GoPro captures but uh, this is uh, like absolutely amazing <laughs> Beautiful area Riding motorcycle and enjoying the scenery probably much more pleasant than being a farmer living here and work the field in the middle of a day, in the middle of a morning at five o'clock when normal people are still sleeping. Uh, you can imagine it's not an easy life uh, to be in a farmer here. The farmer waved to me. He probably wishes he was on a motorcycle now. But I don't wish he I don't wish to be on a tractor now, that I know for sure. I'm riding and thinking like uh, such a beautiful day, nice weather, beautiful roads. The lines are just flowing in front of you. The scenery is uh, amazing. All of this stuff is so good. Mesmerizing. But uh, motorcycling, <laughs> this motorcycling is like a disease. Once you catch it, it's in you. But uh, there's always a danger of motorcycle lurking with that uh, excitement and uh, there's always close calls and there's always mishaps and always a moment of oops moment come or oh shit moment happens and uh, oh shit moment you hope that uh, goes away but anyway uh that is a skunk lane them skunk i smell like skunk why is that damn sin fell asleep in the middle of a road what the hell would have been better place to sleep somewhere in a shade uh, i guess that was his decision anyway yesterday we are riding uh, but six o'clock at night and getting uh, towards the end of the day where I guess the deer uh, getting more active there's always a danger deer jumping in the front of you there's a little baby I guess uh, the one that was uh, born a week ago a little tiny thing jumps out uh, in the front of me 
uh, in the front of my bike and uh, I slam on the brakes and my brakes I guess made a abrupt a squealing noise that spooked it and uh, Demsen stopped short and jumped back into the woods just avoided me or I avoided it and uh, I'm like oh my god that was a stop my heart for a second close call worked out good then and another moment <laughs> another moment we had uh, uh, nine o'clock nine thirty at night in the dark we're coming back from uh, uh, campground to uh, Wellsboro our hotel we are on route 86 like what a state highway I guess nobody on it we're going at uh, highway speed I got them deer full-size big deer decided to fall asleep on the middle of a middle lane Rich and I passed it both of us passed it uh, a little bit right we were right on a mid it was lane on the middle lane and we just missed it passed it or I, we saw, we, I saw it but uh, if you're not paying attention and you hit a full-size uh, deer that decided to fall asleep on the middle of a road that may uh, reroute your plans very quickly yeah so all this fun and excitement come with its own dangers I guess we're all taking our uh, risk getting ready for the best and hoping uh, hoping for the best and hoping that uh, eh, what we're hoping for that uh, this won't happen to us yeah so I'm uh, making my way from uh, Wellsboro where we wound up last night uh, in a hotel with Rich uh, to uh, meet with the route uh, that Ramapo 500 uh, club created uh, Sunday leg uh, to come back from um, Bass, New York uh, back to final destination uh, uh, Rhodes Diner, I believe it is, in uh, Harriman State Park area. So I'm cutting a, a, a corner because the uh, Wal Walboro is like one hour drive uh, from Bass South. So I'm kind of like moving uh, northeast northeasterly direction to uh, uh, meet uh, with the route so that was about 90 miles from uh, to waypoint and the route that I picked and uh, I got another 30 miles to go so I was on a local road and then the local road had a detour so the scenic uh, app recalculated me and sent me on this highway so that's how I wound up here. <laughs> Not my choice, but follow along. Yeah, so I pull up to get some lunch on my way home, following the route, and I meet these nice people. How are you guys? Oh, hi, Vladimir. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell me, why are you sitting here on, in the shade of the tree instead of writing on the route? <laughs> well, <laughs> we, have, we have time for a break and then we, uh, we're going to get gas, but the, the bike was acting up, so we're going to head home. So, so it seems they, they have a really nice ride at Ramapo, but we've had bad luck with it. You know, I was going to start to tell you one year she had, uh, right before the ride, she had got Lyme disease. Oh. So we had to cancel a lot. And then. That's second, nasty. Uh, second year we got. Part way on Sunday, about this far on Sunday with my bike, and it just died. Uh, battery went. Battery went, so, so we had to, we jumped it and we went straight home. <laughs> yeah, so. And what happened today? Uh, well, starting yesterday, we missed the turn, so I made went to go make a U-turn, 
and the, she turned around in a, at a gravel driveway and it was really loose gravel and my foot slipped out from me and it fell over on that side broke the mirror off. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> and then, oh, wow. oh, the right mirror. And then on, then today, the last couple of miles, it, it didn't want to shift. So I'm hoping it'll So you shift. have automatic shifter? Huh? You have an auto shifter motorcycle? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm hoping it'll shift, shift enough to get on 81 and, and get us home. So the shifting problem is in the gear, in the first gear or all the time? It's either in, it, it varies. It, sometimes it shifts, sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't. So it's it's either in one of the switches or the computer. The, what's your name? Russell. And you are? Michelle. Michelle. Awesome. Awesome. And you guys from PA? Yeah. yeah like us for Awesome. And then then another year we made it all through the ride and then going that going home on 78. Her bike died. We had to get a tow truck. Oh wow! You so, got stories yeah. to tell. Yeah. And I had a deer hit me one year yeah. on the on Sunday afternoon on the way back to Rhodes Tavern. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. No, you okay? It just sort of yeah, glanced. It, yeah. It, yeah she, it just the deer just sort of glanced right off of it. <laughs> it hit you, her in the back. She had didn't have that bike. She had another one with saddlebags. And somehow it it had leaped. I was behind her. The deer leaped and was stretched out. Mm -hmm. And just glance it, and it it turned, caused the deer to go on its side and spun around like that <laughs> as you went across the other side of the road. And, and uh, you said, did you drop the bike? She said, no, no, you didn't. Drop. She asked, "What was that?" I said, "I, said, you, I, said, I think I hit a deer." <laughs> yeah, so she didn't hardly notice it, you know, because it just so glanced off the back wow. of the light, but the deer knew it. All right, so you done? Uh, we, uh, we don't know what town we are. You know where we are? No idea, New Milford, maybe, or something yeah, like that. Something like that. I think it said yeah. back further. So, so I, I know it's another three and a half hours to uh, Rhodes Diner, yeah. which is final destination. Yeah. yeah okay. We're, well, we're... I'm going in that direction home, so I'm going to continue. Yeah, yeah. It was a pleasure meeting you guys yeah. today right. and uh, yeah. safe travels home. Well, maybe, right. maybe we'll see you again sometime. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah, have a safer ride home. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. You're, you're from New Jersey? I'm from New Jersey. Well, okay. This is your motorcycles. So the automatic transmission deal failed. And what is that bike? That is a Suzuki GSX 750Z. It's basically their naked bike. That's yours? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, yeah, I love it. Awesome. <laughs> what a team. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, she, the bike she had before that was a Kawasaki. Yeah. And she had almost 100,000 on when she got this one. Wow, so you experienced riders, man. Right? Yeah. You kick ass. You get any awards yesterday? No. Did you win any prizes? Yeah, I won prizes. the grand prize. The, the Harley. Yeah, the big bag gift, of stuff. Gift, oh, that big bag. Yeah. Oh, but I thought that was like a punishment. What do you do with that thing? What did you do with it? You sold it's it? It's all in that bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, funny. Most, took it out of there. Of, most of it was the boxes that everything went into. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, out of all the things, you got the Harley thing. <laughs> you know, you could care less about Harley, right? Well, we have well, people we can give it some gifts. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. It won't go to waste. Yeah. And then I won the book, the. Uh, art in the motorcycle, which is uh, pictures from the Google High Museum. Oh, so that's I cool. That. Oh, so both of you won. Yeah. And oh, look at you, went, man. He said he wanted to lighten his load, so he got ended up with the heaviest thing is because that book's like this thick. Yeah. And it, it weighs uh. a ton. <laughs> oh, you guys did great. <laughs> and, I got, and I got all this stuff that we're trying to show. Well, them. All I got out of that is uh, chicken. <laughs> 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 good. Oh, the chicken was good. The chicken was good. Chicken was excellent. <laughs> All right, so you meet nice people on the way. That's what happens when you ride motorcycles. <laughs> oh, I had lunch here. I met this nice uh, couple from PA. We had a, a little bit of a conversation. So this place, I came into this place, nice clean place, I had pizza and uh, went to the bathroom and the sign says, uh, and the sign says they closing. Uh, today is uh, the last day after 49 years in business, so this uh, manager is still in bunch of young kids that work there <laughs> they have to clean this they have to clean that they have to wash the floor 
they all the with their long faces <laughs> upset that they lost their jobs I guess it's not a very good day for them but uh, my show continues off we go bye bye It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. You know, the delivery with the gap and this uh, restaurant, which is final destination at the uh, Rhodes Diner, Rhodes Tavern. New York, New Jersey section, absolutely amazing. I mean, whoever created this road, boy, they know this. Uh, Roads. I don't think they skip uh, any beautiful section. The road is absolutely amazing. final destination uh, they gave me a patch and uh, I know exactly what I'm gonna do with it but that's a, a reward for my accomplishment today <laughs> about six hours of riding but uh, I feel much better today than yesterday yesterday I came to that I arrived at the uh, uh, best New York campground man I was spooked I was so exhausted I feel much better today. All right, time for the pool. I'm done with the event. I got the, <laughs> I got the patch for Ramapo Club. Here's the people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, what a better way to complete uh, Ramapo 500 at uh, 88 degree weather, <laughs> pulling uh, uh, 725 miles in two days, then uh, jumping in the pool with Nick and uh, refreshing myself. A feeling is, uh, 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 you cannot use drugs this much to develop this kind of fun. <laughs> you, you, have to, you have to go on a motorcycle. <laughs> That's right. It was awesome, Steve. <laughs> yeah.